Thank you. Um, Moons, is that the most complete performance Australia has put together in the, the last little while? Um, yeah, it's not it's not far off. I think um, if we're being really critical, we probably missed out on a few with the bat um, towards the middle on the back end there with a few wickets in a row, but um, certainly really pleasing the spot that we've got ourselves into in this tournament and, um, you know, seeing the likes of Megan Shute and Annabelle Sutherland uh, coming to the fore on wickets that perhaps uh, are considered a bit more spin friendly, that those guys are having a huge impact. So, um, yeah, really pleasing where we're at and, and certainly very happy with that result tonight. And just in terms of the approach with the bat, what did you learn from the first game here the other night and how did you seek to, you know, change up how you approach today? Yeah, we, we sort of spoke this morning and yesterday that it looked a little bit better than the wicket we were on the other day. Um, still very different to conditions back home and a bit of a hard slog at times with the slow outfield and the, the big boundaries and the slow wicket itself. So um, we kind of know throughout this tournament uh, we're going to have to dig pretty deep with the bat and try and find a way to score runs. And sometimes that's going to look pretty ugly and um, sometimes it's going to be OK. But I think if we just find a way to make it work, um, that will hold us in good stead, which is what we did tonight. Um, just on that, you had two knocks now in the 40s. Can you sort of compare them and was there stuff that you can, obviously different conditions at night, but can you, did you sort of take some stuff away from the other day for your own innings? Yeah, certainly. I think, um, you know, just being able to get out there first and foremost in that first game and get an understanding of the conditions was always good and, and to, to bank that sort of data, I guess, um, is always helpful moving throughout the tournament. But I think... Um, you know, I think the natural um, dialogue is that it's going to be pretty tough and you've got to really sort of um, be composed at the crease and, and make good decisions and be really clear on, on what options you have and where to hit what bowlers. So I felt like I was pretty clear on that tonight and um, perhaps could have stayed out there for a few more overs to, to get us a few more runs at the back end, but I still think we've got a, a pretty deep batting lineup, so it will be a waste if we... Um, didn't get those guys out there as well. Um, and the top order all sort of seemed to find the, find the boundary a little bit easier today. Was that something that you, that you discussed in terms of that where to hit it or was there something that clicked a bit better tonight in terms of just being that bit more assertive than the other day? Um, I'm not sure, actually. I think, um, you know, the New Zealand bowlers probably generally bowl a little bit quicker their spinners than, than the Sri Lankans, so there's probably an element of that with the ball skidding on a little bit more in the power play. Um, yeah, like the Sri Lankans, they generally bowl quite slow, so slow slow spin on a slow wicket makes it pretty tough. Um, you know, obviously, Mealy Kerr had a pretty big impact on the game, and, um, you know, if we come up against him again throughout the tournament, we're, we're probably going to have to look at that. But, yeah, I think just the, the pace on the ball made it perhaps a little bit easier, but um, I'm speaking for myself there. Last one from me, um, just in terms of the, we've talked about the batters, but the Aussie bowlers, um, I mean, Megan Shute had another great game, but do you think she sort of, um, you know, did anything different today or is she just on a really nice run at the minute? <laughs> no, um, Megan me Shute's been outstanding for us, not just in the last two games, but throughout her whole career, I think. Um, she's in a really good place with her career as well. I think she's really enjoying it um, and knows the impact that she can have and, we certainly know the difference that she can make in our lineup, and as I mentioned before, um, just seeing the likes of, of Shooter and Belsey being able to have that impact as pace bowlers in some conditions that perhaps aren't as suited to them has been really impressive to watch um, as an expert bowler myself, obviously. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Sunil? There's a lot of talk going around uh, about the pitch, the playing conditions and everything. Do you guys think you managed to crack the code considering you've scored the 14 doubles, same amount of boundary count, and the run is uh, when you scored 148, I mean, you can hardly complain about the pitch. Do you agree to that, <laughs> that you guys have managed to crack the code? Oh, I think um, there's going to be different challenges thrown at us throughout the tournament, and um, we're just going to have to adjust where we can. We we adjusted slightly tonight to these conditions and we're going to have to do that again at Dubai on um, Friday night when we play Pakistan. So I don't know if there's such thing as cracking the code in cricket. It's always, there's always a tough game out there, especially in this format. So um, we'll have another training session on Thursday night and um, come back together and have a look at Pakistan and, and go again on Friday. When you bowl 45% of your deliveries as dot balls, like you bowled today, do you feel comfortable as a team that 
your bowlers are doing the job and batters can take it easy then? I don't think so. I think, um, you know, T20 is so fickle. It could just take one play to take the game away from you. And obviously, you know, in the New Zealand team, they have some world-class players in, in Sophie Devine and Amelia Kerr. So you never know how the game's going to go when you're out there. And, um, you know, 150 was a good score without being a great one, but it turned out to be a great one in the end. But you don't know that at the halfway mark. So I think... Um, for the bowlers to be as composed as they were and really clear on their plans and um, nailed their execution. I think that's the difference um, in our team. That's it. Thank you very much, Beth, and thank you, everyone, for joining us. No worries. Us.